All right. This is the 1590B pedal jig. As you can see, there are many hull configurations that lets you do many style pedals. You can do a three knob configuration with top jacks, or this way. You could do a four knob configuration. You could do a five knob configuration. And if you're one of those really wild builders that wants to do a hundred mods and have tons of toggle switches, well, you've got a lot of options for that as well. This will let you do two foot switches or one centered foot switch. There's also an LED jack, but depending on what you want to make, you could do the toggle here and put the LED somewhere else. It's really up to you. The whole idea of this jig is to give you, the builder, a lot of options. Side jacks, top mounted jacks, and there's even some holes here where I'm not sure why they're there, but hey, maybe you can find a reason. Here's a 1590B enclosure. You'll need that. You're definitely going to want a pedal punch. You can pick one of these up for about eight bucks at any home goods store. And then we highly recommend using a step drill bit. Now, this fits right on the enclosure. We left the bottom lip open because sometimes different brand enclosures will have slight variations in dimensions. But we've tested this on about four different brands and it works really well since we left the bottom lip open. Now, some people drill like this, we say no, 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 because you will chew up your jig. Instead, we recommend getting a pedal punch and then marking the holes you want to use. I'm gonna mark this for a top mounted jack, three knob, tube screamer style. So simply do that. My LED hole, my foot switch hole. Come around here. We're gonna mark where to drill for our input and output jacks and our DC jack. It's really that easy. I've got all my spots marked, and now we just do the drilling. This thing is gonna leave a nice little indent for your pilot hole. So you got some pilot hole markers there. Now, it's probably a good idea to use a vise, just so this doesn't move around. But, I have tested this, it does work pretty well. And, you know, we could do it with our hand, just be careful not to drill into your hand, or, you know, use common sense, obviously. Cool. So this is where we highly recommend using a step bit, because you're going to want to create a pilot hole um, that's a, a smaller size. And you just line that up with where you punched it. So now we really we have some pilot holes drilled, and at this point, you know, just take your step foot, <laughs> step foot. I can't talk, and then you you can enlarge the holes. Just go one step at a time. If need be, have your uh, LED bezel and your pots nearby, just so you can kind of test the holes as you're going. But as you can see, we're getting really nice symmetrical holes. You know, in, in this configuration for a three knob pedal, there's gonna be uh, a lot of clearance for top mounted jacks so your cable and jacks don't hit the pot. And it's nice and clean. Now when I get a circuit board installed into, into this thing, it's gonna look really professional. As you can see, it just drills out in minutes. It doesn't look like a fifth grader did it, which is always a really important if you want professional looking effects, especially if you're a builder who puts these on reverb. Um, 
I don't want to pick on anybody, but I've seen some stuff that people have been selling out there. And uh, I, I swear they let their child drill it out where the knobs were all wonky. And this just lets you get a nice, clean pattern and quickly. You don't have to monkey around with, you know, a tape measure and printing things and taping them over the top of your enclosure. That's the, the way we used to do it. You don't have to do that anymore. As long as you don't drill into this thing, please, for the love of God, spend the eight bucks and buy one of these punches. And then that way, if you do it that way, this thing's gonna last you for years. And you can use it for as many pedals as you need. A lot of different knob configurations. I think the next thing I'm gonna build personally is gonna be like a four knob, like big muff with like a mid control. And then maybe I'll put the LED in the center, I'm not sure. Obviously, depending what you're building, you're, it's up to you to source the correct size knobs. If you, you know, if you're using a pattern like this where they're closer together, you'll need a smaller knob. This one, because I used a different pattern, I can use a little bit larger knob. I think this one's gonna work well with a 20 millimeter knob. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how it works. It's just, it's easy, it's quick, it's clean. And uh, yeah, as long as you don't drill through this thing and you use the punch, it's, it's gonna be a really good investment for you as a builder for nice, clean, symmetrical builds.